In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom thou didst merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, by the who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has vouchsafed to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may attain the joys of eternal life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Sacrament of Confirmation Introduction Kindly be seated. Today we welcome our confirmation candidates to a new stage in their journey of faith. They are now growing into adulthood and beginning to make choices about the kind of person they wish to become. As they prepare to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation, they are empowered by the Holy Spirit to witness Christ in their daily life. Let us as a community welcome these candidates who have undergone a period of training for this day and pray that the Holy Spirit strengthens them to follow Jesus through the Eucharist in their daily life. Let us stand and welcome our main celebrant, your Lordship Bishop Lutz Daniel with Uncon Celebrants. Please join us in singing the entrance hymn as we gather. the 
Please be seated. Uh, I will introduce especially the bishop and the guest priest who have come here and joining at this Eucharist. First of all, a hearty welcome to the 27 candidates who will be receiving the sacrament of confirmation. And they entered the church together with their parents and also the near and dear ones. We pray in a very special way at this Eucharist that the Holy Spirit may guide each and every one of them and help them to grow and walk on the path of Christ throughout their lives. And all of us, those who are here, will be praying for these 27 candidates so that, so that the Spirit of Jesus is found all the time in their life. <clears throat> would like to welcome in a very special way at this Eucharist Bishop Lourdes Daniel who is the main uh, celebrant at this Eucharist. Bishop Lourdes Daniel is the Bishop Emeritus of Nasik Diocese and all those that you find over here at the altar are my classmates. In the year 1980, April 12, we were ordained at the St. Pius College grounds by late Archbishop Cardinal Simon Pimenta. And now this is the 44th year of our ordination and they have come here to celebrate this Thanksgiving Eucharist and also giving the sacrament of confirmation to our young people. So Bishop Lourdes, on behalf of our parishioners, I welcome you 
at this Eucharist and thank you for consenting and coming to our parish, Victoria Church. Now I would like to introduce each and every priest for my classmates that we have there near the Blessed Sacrament with Father Matthew Elinjamattam. He is the Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Verapoli in Kerala. So he's come all the way from there to be with us and also to join at this Holy Eucharist. Father Matthew, welcome to our parish. And may God bless you in your ministry. <laughs> then we have Father Thomas Kolarikal. He is the rector of the Minor Seminary at the Kottapuram Diocese in Kerala. Father Thomas? Yes. So, really, they got so much of love, both these priests, just because that they wanted to be with us, they came all the way from Kerala. I really appreciate their love and also sacrifices they make to be with the class ordained in 1980. Thank you, Father Thomas. Then we have Father Wilson Ribello. Father Wilson is from the Diocese of Vasai and he is the director of the Pastoral Center and also he is very much familiar in the Diocese of Vasai and elsewhere. Father Wilson is a retired principal. He is now built a beautiful pastoral center in Vasai Diocese and he is in charge of the Vasai uh, pastoral Center. Father Wilson, thank you and welcome. <laughs> then we have Father Joe D'Souza. I'm sure that quite many of you may be knowing him. Father Joe D'Souza is the parish priest at Our Lady of Health at Cabell. And um, that is one of the smallest parishes in the Archdiocese of Bondi, the Cabell Parish. And Father Joe is the parish priest over there and is doing wonderful work among the small community of our Catholics. And also he goes different places, different parishes, preaching at the time of Lent, especially in Konkani language. Father Joe, thank you and welcome. <laughs> then of course that we have next to him is Father Ivan Mascarenas has been appointed as the parish priest of Our Lady of Wellington Church at Irla. That parish was earlier run by the Pime Fathers, but now it has given up to the diocese, and Father Ivan is the present parish priest of Our Lady of Wellington Church at Irla. And he was also in the schools in different places as principal, now he's retired from the school, and now he is the parish priest at Irla. Father Ivan, welcome and thank you for joining us at this Eucharist. <laughs> then, of course, we have Father Solomon Rodriguez. He was he's from Basai Diocese. He was earlier the principal of Gonzalo Garcia College at Basai. Now he's been retired and he is also doing wonderful work in the Koliwada Parish, especially praying over the people and also having a healing ministry in charge in the Diocese of Vasai. Father Solomon, welcome to the, our parish to join us this evening. Then of course we have here Father Paul D'Souza. Father Paul, I'm not, I'm sure that quite many of you know him. He used to celebrate the Latin Mass here and now he is in the, on the staff at St. Ignatius Church, Jacob Circle. He is also praised over to different people and also engaged in the healing ministry. Then we have, of course, thank you, Father Paul, for coming and joining us at this Eucharist. Of course, we have Deacon uh, Navin, all of you know, and of course, you all know myself, okay? So, God bless. And we ask you to remember us and pray for us in a very special way because 44 years of the priesthood is not an easy journey. We had lots of ups and downs, but because of the prayers and God's grace, we have been sailing in a, the right way. 
There are four priests have passed away from our class. Four priests already passed away. We remember them at this mass and pray that the Lord may give them rest and peace. And we have one priest, Father Rock Gonsalves, who is in the clergy home at Bandra. I just visited him this morning and spent about 15 to 20 minutes with him. He is suffering from dementia. So he wanted to join, but because of his uh, health issues that he could not join. May the Lord heal him and make him well again. So with all this lovely priests that we celebrate this beautiful day, thanking God for all the blessing and especially praying for these 27 candidates of our parish for the confirmation. Thank you and we shall begin the Eucharist now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Dear Your Lordship, Lutz Daniel, we, the candidates of this parish, desire to receive from you the sacrament of confirmation. We are happy that you have accepted our invitation to come here and to confirm us. We, at the outset, want to assure you that we have tried our best to prepare ourselves for this day. In the presence of this community, we declare our desire to be filled with the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit, to partake of his prophetic mission, and to live life consciously by the decrees of our faith. We look forward to receiving from the Holy Spirit the gift of wisdom, which we may always choose to walk in the guiding light of the Gospels, in which we firmly place our faith and to turn our backs to the wisdom of the world. We look forward to the gift of understanding which the Holy Spirit can shower upon us. Life is a puzzle, especially for us at this crucial stage in our growth. Filled with the gift of understanding, we hope to learn how to be keenly aware of whatever happens around us. The things or events which we are able to accept and those which we find hard to accept. The gift of understanding will help us to know the difference. We look forward to the gift of right judgment with which the Holy Spirit can bless us. Too often we judge people and situations in our own way forgetting that the way in which God looks at us and judges us is quite different. We want to make our own God's way of judging persons. We look forward very eagerly to the gift of courage to live our Christian life the way we should. Very often we desire to be good, but are tempted to do things we would not like to do. When we want to be faithful witnesses of Christ, 
These are the pressure on us that forces us to be silent. We want the strength of the Holy Spirit to be good Christians. We look forward to the gift of knowledge that we may come to know the one through God every deeply and personally and Jesus Christ is only Son. Knowing Christ personally will also inspire us to serve one another in Christian fellowship. We look forward to the gift of reverence which will make us strong enough to pay homage to our Creator in every situation of our lives, in the church and outside. Henceforth, we do not want to do anything in our private or public lives that would amount to irreverence to the one who made us. And finally, we look forward to the gift of wonder and awe in God's presence. May nothing in this world ever take away from our hearts the realization of the wonderful ways in which God works in our lives. May we attribute all human good to the hand of God and may we be grateful to God for all the wonders He works in the lives of human beings. May these seven gifts of the Holy Spirit be showered abundantly on us this morning. Dear Father Rocky, thank you for your gracious words of welcome. 44 years of a priestly life and whenever we come together, we go back to that time when we are young priests, young students. So when we look at one another, we see as we were looking earlier 44 years ago and now not how we look at the moment. Thank you, all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, for welcoming us. Today in this parish, our parish, 27 of our young boys and girls will be receiving the sacrament of confirmation. Normally, there's a general feeling confirmation is taken as a formality. After baptism, one has to receive confirmation and therefore the preparation is something more or less for the day but we need to prepare ourselves for life in confirmation you reaffirm your faith you become stronger in faith not to practice your faith in the church but when you go out at the end of the mass we always say Go forth, the Mass is ended, so you enter the world to carry Jesus with you and give Jesus to the people. Wherever you are, in the school, in the colleges, working place, at home, in the society. And for this, we need faith. For the times, our faith is shaken because most of you are born in the internet age. So mobile is become a part of your body sort of thing and therefore we ask the Lord to forgive us for the times we took him for granted and never lived our faith in depth. Let's turn to God asking for his mercy. Lord, you are full of love and abundant in mercy. We recognize the presence of God in our lives. As you send your spirit to us, 
to renew and transform our lives lord have mercy lord Lord you are compassionate in you we find the fullness of life and redemption we recognize your presence in our lives as you invite us to the life of redemption and happiness Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord you are the power and strength with you on your side we are the strongest and the most powerful on earth we recognize your presence beside us during the crucial moment of uncertainty and fear lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen temple of his glory through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter said to the people, "The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified His servant Jesus, whom you delivered over 
and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked for a murderer to be granted to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that is Christ would suffer. He thus fulfilled. Repent therefore and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Light up the light of your face on us, O Lord. All together. Light up the light of your face on us, O Lord. I called. The God of justice gave me answer. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. Our response? Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Know that the Lord works wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me whenever I call him. Our response? Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Our response? Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. In peace, I will lie down and fall asleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Your response? Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not only for us, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this, we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word in him truly, the love of God is perfected. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. All glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the two disciples told what had happened on the road and how Jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood amongst them and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and they were frightened and thought that they had seen a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and I my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And then when he had said this, he showed them his hands and he showed them his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here for me to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish. And he took it and he ate it before them. And he said this to them. These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. That everything that was written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms, it will be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them, thus it was written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in the name of all nations, beginning from Jerusalem, and you, you are witness to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. The Rite of Confirmation. The rite of confirmation begins with the presentation of the candidates, requesting all our candidates to kindly stand. Dear Bishop Luz Daniel, these candidates of Our Lady of Victory's Church now wish to profess and live their faith in a more committed way. To enable them to do this, they request to be conferred with the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of confirmation. Do you understand what you're about to undertake? Yes, we do. We rely on the grace of God to assist you. Dear Father Rocky Barnes, my dear brother priests, my dear brothers and sisters, and my dear young friends, we are going to receive the sacrament of confirmation. You have prepared yourself well, and you have been preparing for the last year or few months or few weeks, I do not know. But there is some kind of preparation. The time of pre preparation, our focus is on the teachings of the church. How much I know, how much I want to know. But the real thing is that you believe in Jesus. The name of Jesus, the powerful name of Jesus. 
Jesus yesterday, Jesus today, Jesus forever the same. Jesus yesterday, Jesus today, Jesus forever the same. Remember, Jesus is not a thought, is not an imagination, is not an idea, is not a concept. He is real. He is living every moment in our life. He is everywhere. In the first reading we have heard in the Acts of the Apostles, Peter mentions about Abraham, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Moses. And the same God sends his only son in this world, Jesus Christ our Lord, to redeem the whole humanity. Peter, John and the other apostles were chosen by Christ to carry on his mission. Did not understand who Jesus is, what he's talking about. They were in a different level. They thought he is a messiah, a worldly powerful leader who is going to bring a change in their lives. But when the Lord was speaking about the kingdom of God, they did not know what he's talking about. The kingdom they thought maybe somewhere in this world. And he's going to be a powerful king. Therefore thinking of themselves, who will sit at his right, who will sit at his left. The Lord focuses their attention to service to humanity. I, your Lord and Master, who can become like a slave and wash your feet. So blessed are you if you do it. That is the Lord. That is kingdom. Testifying before Pilate about his kingdom. He says, my kingdom is not of this world. Because Pilate was threatened. The kings of the time were threatened. Who is this new king? He said, no, my kingdom is not of this world. And therefore, the Lord is leading us to another world. What we have is his body. And for this body, we spend so much time working, slogging, even cheating one another to make this life more comfortable, cozy. But remember, this body is made out of earth. The body gets meaning only when the Lord infuses his breath, his spirit. But the spirit of God is within us. Once the spirit comes out of this body when we die, where this body goes, from where it was made in the earth. And what is within us, it goes to God. Therefore Jesus come to focus our attention what is within us. Our body is like a fragile earthen jar, as Paul speaks in Romans. If it falls to the ground, it falls into pieces. That kind of body we have. But what makes this body much more meaningful and precious? The spirit that dwells in it. Therefore, our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. We may look very ordinary. People recognize a poor man, illiterate man, maybe a sinner. But in everyone, God dwells. Peter, the chosen one of God, the other apostles were chosen by God. They could see Jesus, they could feel Jesus, they could touch him, they could hear him, they ate with him, they walked with him. Yet they did not know he is a messiah. He is leading us somewhere beyond. And therefore, the Lord tells Peter, you are too enthusiastic. As Peter says, even if everybody leaves, I will never leave you. I am ready to die for you. And the Peter, looking at the enthusiasm, says, Peter, before the cock crows twice, you will denounce me three times. That's our human nature. So let not this preparation of confirmation full of enthusiasm. I'll do this, I'll do that. I will do nothing. I can do nothing, as St. Paul says. 
and whatever i do i do by the grace of god the power of god even if i'm most weak the lord becomes my strength trust in him today the lord is going to empower you with his spirit the same spirit where the apostles received after the resurrection of jesus when the lord was crucified and died he rose again as he always reminded his apostles the son of man will be arrested put to death but on the third day he will rise again they did not understand till his resurrection the risen christ appears to the apostles with the grip to with fear confusion uncertainty what will be our future someone may recognize us maybe we will be put to death therefore they were in a close room the lord appears to them infuses them his spirit his breath receive the holy spirit the same apostles who were gripped with fear becomes fearless going all around and proclaim the good news the second reading st peter so beautifully speaks about that this jesus whom you put to death that he is with us empowered by the spirit st paul who have never seen jesus physical jesus he never touched him never heard his voice he hated the name of jesus there was such a kind of hatred that you could arrest all those who proclaim his name st paul experienced the risen lord and later he says i want to know christ and the power of his resurrection this power is given to you by the spirit the lord will infuse in you in the spirit and you will live live as jesus lived and therefore my dear brothers and sisters what happens in confirmation therefore we must take this confirmation seriously parents god parents we have a role to play the parents are the first teachers they are the children are with you create an atmosphere where people should feel the presence of god in the family no matter how poor you are no matter what kind of life you live but create that atmosphere that we should breathe in the spirit of jesus look at our priests here look at the sisters there look at so many lay people who are offering themselves for jesus the church reminds us of with so many saints who were martyred died for faith what happened to them they believed in jesus for them the earthly life was nothing what they aim the life after therefore here on earth right from birth to death god gives us an opportunity so our life is full of possibilities and opportunities to know jesus believe in him and live like him today the world is hungry for jesus it's not enough to receive the sacrament of confirmation and go back and say my confirmation is over it should not be a formality it should give us a definite direction to our life from now on i'm filled with the spirit the gifts of the spirit look no matter how poor your parents are by the time you are in the 10th or 12th standard they work hard only to give the best possible education the tuition classes and other things so that your future should be bright and secure why the parents suffer because they love you why jesus died for us because he loves us if we are the disciples of jesus we should not only know about jesus but be like jesus be another christ today the world needs you are here in this city but come to the mission stations where so many non christians long to know jesus who is this jesus during the day time the churches in verily people come from different faith and they look at the crucifix of jesus we want jesus we want jesus because they know jesus is the source of peace Jesus source of reconciliation Jesus source of forgiveness Jesus source of new life and therefore the Jesus when he leaves us he's ascending he spend he gives his spirit to us 
so the renewed in his spirit we live a new life in spirit the confirmation is like strengthening our faith fearlessly the apostles were gripped with fear now fearlessly to go everywhere no matter if they will be arrested or put to death they proclaim jesus christ our lord once i was traveling by train there were several people sitting around there was a non christian person looking at his crucifix we were just talking says father you may be having answers to all this question that's happening in this world then suddenly he said i believe in bhagwan jesus he is the only one who speaks about forgiveness he says forgive your enemies nowhere i have heard no one saying these beautiful words forgive your enemies when the enemy sees that you love him his attitude changes and there's a transformation and this enemy also begins to love the power of jesus and then he concludes if i had to be born again i pray that i should be born as a christian a non christian is also touched by jesus if we have been baptized we have been confirmed how much more we should be eager to give jesus to the world therefore to assist you as your parents give everything possible to you so that your life may be beautiful comfortable cozy the lord gives his life he gives his spirit so that in your real life that whenever the trials come temptations come you should dare to say no to that is evil and dare to do what is right what is good every time in your life there are moments when you are confused whether to go this way or the that way to follow the right path or the wrong path in order to live a few moments of life comfortably we give in to sin sin is something that takes me away from the love of god without love there is no life and therefore receive jesus receive the, the spirit of jesus in faith because if jesus is in our life no matter how poor you are your meaning has life if there is no jesus in our life no matter how wealthy you are how rich you are how well placed in society you are your life has no meaning no value therefore you have come here believing i am going to encounter jesus and this jesus he looks at me and say you are precious in my eyes he never say oh you are coming from this background this kind of family all kind of sinners murderers liars cheats no when he looks at us he looks at us with love peter who denied jesus Jesus goes to him never reminding him that you have denied me you betrayed me no do you love me do you love me and he gives him such a big responsibility to feed my sheep so also today when you look at Jesus the lord only asks you one thing do you love Jesus and for this we need a real spiritual preparation it's not enough to read the bible is not read the prayer books and navina is another thing what is important i believe like peter and john you should be able to say what i've heard and what i've seen we need people with this kind of encounter with this kind of experience that you should be able to say i have seen him when will we see generations and generations of christians we talk about jesus without knowing jesus know him love him the more you love him the more you will be able to love one another and therefore today i pray for you in this challenging days in this demanding days where the people are going away from the church en masse huge churches are empty if at all they come they come with their cameras only to click the photos no one prays and therefore you are the living church in you the spirit dwells therefore receive the spirit in faith live the life of spirit understanding one another forgiving one another and loving god above all i pray for you 
I pray for your parents that you should be a powerful witnesses. After your confirmation, your main role is to be the witnesses. To become an active member of the church. Now, active member of the church does not mean that you come once in a way to the church, clean the church, help the parish priest. No. Wherever you are, whether in the school or college is a place of work, you should be able to witness Christ by your way of life. A life of truth, a life of justice, a life of forgiveness, a life of love. And this comes, therefore the Lord empowers you today with the Spirit. Receive the Spirit and my dear brothers and sisters, let us together pray for the children who are young, energetic, intelligent, using your own freedom, my dear children. You are coming here and use the same freedom to proclaim Christ fearlessly. He is the Lord our God. We will now have the renewal of baptismal promises. We will light your candles requesting the fan to be switched off. <coughs> Kindly stand, requesting the congregation to also stand as the candidate baptismal promises. My dear children, before you receive the Spirit, call to mind the faith which you profess in baptism or which your parents and godparents professed with the church. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? Yes. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pons suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. We now have the ceremony of laying on of hands. The bishop will stretch out his hand over the candidates and pray for them. The congregation is also requested to please stand and pray for the candidates while the, while the candidates kneel.
you may switch off your candles dearly beloved let us pray to god the almighty father for these his adopted sons and daughters already born again to eternal life in baptism that he will graciously pour out the holy spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ the son of god i request all our fathers to stretch your right hand towards the priest almighty god father of our lord jesus christ who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the holy spirit freeing them from sin send upon them o lord the holy spirit the paraclete give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and fortitude the spirit of knowledge and piety fill them with the spirit of the fear of the lord through christ our lord we will now have the anointing of the candidates kindly sit The rite of anointing with chrism now begins. The candidates will come forward and kneel before the bishop. Odelia Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit Peace be with you Anshi Anshi be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Erica Erica be sealed with the gift of the holy spirit peace be with you Dennis Avril Avril be sealed the gift of the holy spirit peace be with you Janus Janus be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Nicholas 
Ninoshka. Ninoshka, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bianca. Bianca, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Zara. Spirit, peace be with you. Trinity. Trinity, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Alicia Alicia be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Jaden Jaden is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Solomon. Solomon is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Godwin Godwin be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Victor Victor, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Albrion. Albrion, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Conroy. Conroy is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ashley Ashley is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jaden 
Joel Joel be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Joshua Joshua be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Joshua Joel Joel be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit Peace be with you. Alden. Alan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Neil. Neil, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Daniel. Daniel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ashley Ashley be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit peace be with you Ashley Spirit, peace be with you. Denver. Denver, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you bishop. Kindly stand as we will now have the prayers of the faithful. My dear friends, let us be one in prayer to God our Father, as we are one in the faith, hope, and love of his spirit gives for the holy church of god for our pope francis all our bishops priests and religious that god who gathers us together by the holy spirit 
may help us grow in unity of faith and love until his son returns in glory we pray lord we pray to the lord for our parents and godparents and teachers who have led us in faith that by word and example of their own lives they may continue to encourage us to follow Christ <coughs> our response loving, loving father, father hear our prayer God our father today we have said yes to be faithful disciples we pray that we may powerfully experience the presence of your holy spirit in our lives and thus be able to fight the temptation of the world lord in your mercy loving father lord, mercy, hear our hear. prayer <coughs> Lord we pray for ourselves that we may be more generous with our time and become aware of the needs of those around us and may we willingly use our talents to serve the needy and the aged help us to involve more into the activities of our parish we pray to the lord loving lord. father hear our prayer Lord you have called each one of us to follow you help us to understand what that call means give each one of us the courage to be recognized as your followers lord in your mercy loving father hear our prayer we pray for all men and women of every race and nation that they may acknowledge the one god has as father and in the bond of common fellowship seek his lord in your mercy hear our prayer loving father hear our prayer let us make a personal prayer in the silence of our hearts let us pray to the lord Lord, Loving in Father, your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear the prayers of those gathered here. Help us remain firm in our resolve to be a spirit-led and spirit-filled community. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in the offertory hymn. We offer you, O Lord Divine. presentation of gifts we have received the holy spirit and realized that each one of us has a mission to fulfill we have written our own personal commitment to serve the lord and his people by intercession reaching out to the poor or serving in the church community we now present this commitment to the lord along with love and offering commitment cards Dear Lord <clears throat> 
dear lord we offer you this bread and wine as a symbol of each one of us present here today as you as you change this bread wine into the into your body and blood we ask you to mold us and make us a new people from this day forward may we lead a life fulfill of love and peace and with the gifts of your spirit may we be your faithful apostles and continue your work on the Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all of His holy church. Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that, being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to Him. as they shared in the memorial of his redemption by which he gained for us your holy spirit through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god for he bestow gifts suited to every season and guide the governing of your church in wonderful ways by the power of the holy spirit you come unfailingly to your aid 
so that with a heart always subject to you, she may never fail to seek your help in time of trouble, nor cease to give you thanks in time of joy through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the cause of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy o lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather the people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Say, my Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you, O oh Lord, have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of his church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of his Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for un. 
unfailing help. Pay the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord. Advance, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to, this, to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but in the faith of the Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please join us in the communion hymn he is lord number 165 
थैंक्स गिविंग प्रे काइनी नील फादर इन हैवन टुडे इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ आर पेरेंट्स गॉड पेरेंट्स स्पॉन्सर्स एंड द होल कम्युनिटी वी सरेंडर आर लाइफ टू यू एज वी कमिट आर सेल्स टू यू वी थैंक यू फॉर चूजिंग अस एंड गिविंग अस दिस ऑपरचुनिटी of receiving your gifts we thank you for loving us as a daughters and sons thank you jesus for being our brother thank you holy spirit for being our guide in our life journey bless all those who have helped us come closer to you we make this prayer to christ our lord amen on this occasion my hearty congratulations to all the 27 candidates who have prepared to receive the sacrament of confirmation we look forward in a very special way of your involvement in the future in all the church activities and father neil would like all of you and we all of us would like you to join the youth group so that you continue to keep up your relationship with the church and its activities the youth group in our parish they want more young people to come forward and offer the services so that you get the spiritual as well as social formation so that we continue to grow in the love of Jesus Christ our prayer is that that you who have received this sacrament that you always walk in the path of Christ and let the holy spirit guide you in a very special way to see and to do what is right in your life and also to see that all the wrong things to avoid in your life that's the spirit of jesus who always guiding us to do what is right and to avoid what is wrong in your life if that happens i'm sure that you'll be able to take up the important responsibility of being a christian so god bless you and wish you all the very best i would like to thank the parents of these 27 candidates who took so much of trouble and you have sacrificed your time and also encouraging your children to come for the catechism every sunday and it is not so sometimes easy but encouraging the children and see that they come for the mass at 8 o'clock and then joining the sunday school catechism and especially that was meant for the uh, confirmation students i would like to thank at this stage also besides thanking the parents also the god parents of these young people who came forward and also kept their hand on the shoulder of these child young people so that the spirit of jesus may guide them throughout on this occasion i would like to thank first of all bishop luis daniel for coming all the way from nasik to confer our young people thank you bishop and also i would like to thank my brother priest who have come from different places to join this eucharist and also thanking the lord for the 44 years of priesthood so thank you bishop and thank you father for the same I'd like to thank uh, deacon navin in a very special way who is heading the sunday school and also the formation of our children through the sunday school classes including the confirmation classes together with uh, deacon that we have the other animators sister paru then we have babita rani swarna then zinia then kajitan and dean fernandez these were the five people who constantly coming every day to see they take up the classes of our students and they did a wonderful job i would like all of you to give them a very big hand the round of applause thank you very much and i'm sure they will continue to give that beautiful catechism to our youngsters god bless each and one of you 
like to thank in a very special way this evening uh, the choir. I asked the choir members to come and sing at this mass and they sang so melodiously to make our Eucharistic celebration meaningful. God bless you and thank you very much all the members of the choir who are present here. Also, I would like to thank our altar children, altar servers, then also the ushers who will be there guiding and helping all of us throughout. I would like to thank also our sacristans who have been serving. It's not so very easy to see to all the arrangements of the altar and also decorating the altar and plus thing to all the needs to make this Eucharistic celebration very meaningful. Thank you and God bless. And my dear, uh, yes, thank you. You are very, very spontaneous giving the round of applause. I would like to thank also all the, all the people, those who are gathered here for this Eucharistic celebration, that your prayers and support is extremely important to see that our youngsters grow in the love of Jesus as well as love of the church. God bless you, each and every one of you, and may you continue all of us grow in the love of Jesus Christ. Continue to pray to for our young people who receive the sacrament confirmation and also for all those people who have been helping us and some the other. God bless you all. God bless. And I think I have covered everybody in case if I missed out anybody. I'm sorry, but I'm sure that I've covered all and you have been doing a wonderful job in our parish, making our parish spiritually and socially vibrant. God bless each and every one of you. Let us pray accompany with your blessing from this day forward O Lord those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son so that with all trials overcome they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity foster her growth in the world through Christ our Lord I ask my brother priest for celebrating the 44th ordination anniversary to join me in the final blessing. May God the Father Almighty bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit, and may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. May his only begotten son who promised that the spirit of truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. May the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Let's go in. There will be a song put up by our young people who will receive the sacrament of confirmation immediately after this. Okay? So we, we uh, request all, all of you to sit and appreciate the beautiful song that they are putting up. Yes, Zinia, we got something to... Sunday notices. Huh? Notices? Okay. Notice. Sunday Notices. The Association of Silesians Cooperators, Auxilium Convent Pandra, invites all youth above the age of 15 years for an evening of fun, faith, and fellowship on 20th of April. Kindly register before 16th of April. Details on the notice board. 
the Bombay Catholic Sabha, our parish unit, will be having a help desk to assist parishioners to check their names on the voters list from 15th to the 21st of April from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Kindly carry your voter card. The Bombay Catholic Sabha, our parish unit, will help people to get their Ayushman card, which provides health coverage of up to 5 lakhs per year to each family. On Sunday, 14th April, from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the church. Parishioners are requested to register their names at the Bombay Catholic Sabha help desk this weekend. Our Lady of Victory's youth is gearing up for the Victory Sports Dhamaka on 20th, 21st, 27th and 28th April. Kindly contact the youth animators for details. Those who wish to sponsor the event, please contact Father Neil. Lenten arms collection amounted to 93,650 rupees in cash and 72,000 rupees in check. Last Sunday's collection amounted to 57,475 rupees. These amounts will be sent to the Archbishop's house. First Friday's collection amounted to 14,102 rupees. Box collection amounted to 22,766 rupees. These amounts will be used for the works of the parish. We thank you for your generosity. My dear friends, I know it's taken a long time. It's almost two hours. We ask your time for another three minutes. As Father Rocky just announced, the formation that has gone on with our confirmation students over the last one year has culminated in the last two months in a practice of a hymn which expresses their commitment to serve God in the community. And so we pray that you remain to encourage them as they pledge their mission and vocation to the service of the community. So kindly stand back for the song. We now stand up for the dismissal. Our Mass is now ended, go in the peace of Christ, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our candidates will now explain the song that they're going to sing. We start with the first verse. Everyone else, you're requested, you can sit down. The first verse is, There is a candle in every soul, 
some brightly burning some dark and cold so these two lines uh, goes to tell us that every person has a candle in us uh, now the candle has a symbolic meaning of hope and the only difference is that some people's candles are burning brightly and some are dark and cold which means that some have all the joy success and happiness whereas some are depressed sad and cannot do anything in life i would also like to add the point that bishop stated in his homily that how much of a successful or money you have there is zero meaning until you don't have jesus in your life the next two lines there is a fire there is a spirit who brings a fire ignites a candle and makes his home these two lines symbolizes that we, the it is not us who have the wisdom courage and understanding but it is the spirit that leads us to having the spirit and understanding it is god that gives us rest and peace to make the home ignites a candle within us and make bring us bring the fire within us to light us the chorus we can be your candle run to the darkness seek out the hopeless confused and torn these two lines symbolize that there are various people struggling with no meaning in life and with this we help to bring joy in people's life as many young people god has blessed them with peace and compassion love uh, and they can take this light and so going and using the gifts of god and light up the darkness of other people who are lonely sad depressed and having no meaning in life The next is hold out your candle for all to see it. We as a confirmation students can light up our candles with our faithfulness, creativity, talents and little bit of naughtiness to our parents, my parents, my siblings, my god parents, my relative, my family. Second verse frustrated brother see how he tried to this line talks about a brother who's feeling upset because he's been trying to find his own way to succeed but he hasn't had much luck it's like he's trying to light his candle which means finding his own path but it's not working out instead he's looking for other ways to make things better such as smoking drinking vaping drugs but that is not what our lord has is calling us to do this line captures the struggle and disappointment he feels as he tries to figure things out on his own but faces challenges along the way she's now see now your sister she's been robbed and lied to still holds a candle without a flame this line recognizes the che uh, cheated uh, misunderstood uh, Uh, the only uh, the only one who have been helping during the uh, times when we need uh, this line represent the candle w uh, without a flame the last verse we are a family whose hearts are blazing let's raise our candles and light up the sky praying to our father in the name of jesus make us a beacon in darkest times So finally we confirmation candidates are like uh, the blazing fire of the parish and we hope that we serve for the parish and we have the igniting spirit of the lord in us that will help us further to do good in the parish thank you Is 
Congratulations to you, congratulations to you, may the 
Blue.